Hello, today we're going to learn about an encryption technique called matrix encryption. So we're going to take our message, put it into numbers, put it in a matrix, then multiply by a key matrix, and then learn how to decode that. Okay, let's talk about the basic principles of how this works. So you are going to take your message, and you're going to put it in a message matrix. That's what we can call it. So it's going to be some matrix with a bunch of entries in it. And we'll call that matrix M. And then we're also going to have our key matrix. And that's what we're going to multiply it by. So speaking of strictly the formula, we're going to have the message matrix and we're going to multiply it by the key matrix. So when I multiply those two things together, it's going to create a new matrix. And it's going to jumble up all the numbers, so we'll call that the encoded matrix. Okay, so when I get E, that's going to be a matrix with a bunch of numbers, and it's not going to be like the numbers correspond to M, N, O, because if I do that, it's going to be gibberish, because I changed all the numbers. But how do I go from E, the encrypted matrix, back to the original message matrix? Well, what undoes matrix multiplication? Inverse, multiplication by the inverse. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the inverse matrix. Because notice what happens, as we know, those cancel each other out, leaving me just the message matrix equals K inverse times E. So to encode my matrix, I'm going to multiply it by the key. But then to decode it, I multiply by the inverse of the key. And remember, matrix multiplication is not commutative. So when I multiply the inverse, it has to be on this left side, like that, which means on the other side of the equation, I have to multiply by the left side as well. The order is very important with it. So the idea is I'm going to take my letters, put them into numbers, multiply by some matrix key, and then be able to decode it by multiplying by the inverse. Now I hope this all clicks together um, as we actually do this example here. So I have our message, meet at midnight, that we're supposed to send in, in an encrypted manner. So I'm going to take each of my letters of meet at midnight and transpose them into numbers. So we go 12, 4, 4, 19, 0, 19, 12, 8, 3, 13, 8, G, 6, 7, 19. So there we have it in numbers. Now we need to put that in the message matrix, which just means organize those numbers into a matrix. So right now we're practicing encryption with a two by two key. Okay, so I've chosen to use a two by two key. You can do this with a three by three, a four by four, five by five, whatever square matrix you want. And it has to be square because in order to decrypt the message, we have to find the inverse. And remember, there are only inverse matrices of square matrices. So the same rows as same columns. Now, when I multiply, because I'm going key matrix times message matrix, and this is a two by two, so two rows, two columns, the message matrix has to be two rows times, well, any number of columns, okay? Because then those inner terms match up and I can do the, I can do the multiplication. So my message matrix has to be two rows. Well, how many columns? I can think ahead here and I'm going to fill in my turn going this way as this. So how many columns? Well, I can just take my number of letters and divide by two. So in meet at midnight, I have four, six, and then nine, 12, 14. So eight letters in midnight. So I have 14 total, which means I need seven columns. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can go in and fill the numbers. So I go 12, four, four, 19, zero, 19, 12, eight, and I go to the second row, three, 
13, 8, 6, 7, 19. Okay, so that filled it in perfect. Now, what if, uh, what if my message was meet at midnights? I don't know what the plural of midnight means, but what if I had this extra 18 at the end? Well, now all of a sudden I don't fill in the columns exactly. So let's just say my S is up there and I have this blank here. I can't just leave it blank in the matrix. I don't want to put a zero because a zero stands for A. I just need a blank space. So this can be kind of an agreed on thing. Maybe you want to say space is equal to the number 26. So every time you put a 26, that means a blank space. So even if you wanted to make your message more clear, you could add in a 26 every between every word. So meet, at, and put a space. Okay, so if there's empty spots in your matrix you need to fill, you could put a 26 to stand for a space or whatever number you have agreed upon to represent a space in your encryption. Okay, now that we have created our message matrix, we're now going to encode it. So we encode it, we'll call it our encrypted matrix. To encode it, we take the key that we have chosen and we multiply it by our message matrix. So 12, 4, 4, 19, 0, 19, 12, and then 8, 3, 13, 8, 6, 7, 19. Okay, and that's going to create another 2 by 7 matrix. And we will go through this matrix multiplication. So we take our first row and we multiply it with our first column. And we get 2 times 12 is 24 plus 3 times 8, which is 24. So that gives me 48. Okay, now we are taking our first row times the second column. So I have 8 plus 9, which gives me 17. And now we do first row times third column. So I have 8 plus 39. 8 plus 39 is 47. Now notice, as we're doing these multiplications, I don't care that the numbers have become bigger than 25, like bigger than the numbers of my alphabet, because I'm not going to take this 48 and try and make it into a number. Okay, because I'm going to send this as a matrix with these big numbers to my recipient. And then they're going to multiply it by the inverse of the key. And that's going to return the numbers back into these ones here that are all corresponding to letters between 0 and 25. So I don't have to deal with that modular arithmetic stuff like with the Caesar shift. Instead, I can leave them big they will go back to being small when I decrypt the message. Okay, so first row times fourth column. So I do 2 times 19 plus 3 times 8, which is 24. And that gives me 62. Keep on going. We have 2 times 0. We have 2 times 0 plus 3 times 6. So that gives me 18. 2 times 19 plus 21. So I get 59. And 24 plus 3 times 19 is 81. Now from here, I'm going to take and multiply my second row by everything. And I'll fill in my second row of the matrix. So I'll check in with you once I get that completed. You can do it on your own to double check me. Okay, so I have finished creating my encrypted matrix here. And again, you can check my multiplication of the second row. Now that highlighted in yellow is what I will send to my recipient. That's our encoded message. But they also need to have the key matrix up there. But I don't want to send those two together. Okay, because if I send them together and that is intercepted, the person who intercepts it will have both the encrypted matrix, which so it'll be gibberish to them, but they'll also have the key so they can real easily unlock it and figure it out. Okay, it's kind of like if you buy a safe, you put all your valuables in it and you're like, okay, good, I got it locked up, I'm safe, I'm good, nothing's gonna get into that safe. But then you put the key right on top of the safe. Well, when the thief comes, he'll be like, oh no, he has this kit, he has this safe, I can't open it. 
And then it'll be like, oh, but the key is right on top of it. So I'll just grab the key, unlock it, take your jewels and run away. Okay, so you need to take that key for the safe and put it in a separate place. Okay, a separate place away from the safe. They need to be distinct. Same thing with this. That key matrix needs to be something that's already shared between the two of you. Either you send it in a previous message or it's previously known between you two. And then you send the encrypted matrix all by itself. Okay, then if the encrypted matrix is intercepted, the person who intercepts it won't know what to do with it, how to unlock it. Okay, so you send that encrypted matrix and then we have to decrypt it. So my recipient receives the encrypted matrix and then they're like, okay, let's decrypt it. So how do we find the decrypted matrix? Well, remember the decrypted matrix is taking K inverse times the encrypted matrix. So we have to find K inverse. The key inverse is, remember how to find the inverse of a two by two? You go one over AD minus BC times you flip the positions of A and D and you make B and C negative. So there's K inverse. Um, one over 16 minus 15 is one. So you just multiply everything by one meaning it's a real easy inverse to find. There we go. And we take that and we multiply it by our encrypted message matrix. And this will give us another two by seven matrix, except this time it will be decrypted and it should return that original message matrix exactly as we had. So once again, I'm going to go through this and I'm going to multiply these together and I'll check in with you once I have it multiplied. And you can do the multiplication yourself to double check this. Okay, so I did my multiplication. I did come across one error when I multiplied my encrypted by the message matrix. When I took my first row times the third column, I had had 104, but it is actually 124. So I changed that, found that mistake, uh, and then from there we go forward. And notice when I multiplied K inverse times the encrypted matrix, it returned the message matrix. Okay, this one right here is the same as this here. So my recipient received the encrypted matrix multiplied by K inverse and he got the message matrix. And then he just has one more step to convert each number into its letter. So it's meet at midnight. And he could consult the numbers of the alphabet to make sure he gets that complete. So meet at midnight and then he would have the message. So the general idea of this, let's refresh as we close out here. You are going to take your letters and you are going to convert them into numbers and you're going to put that into a matrix. You're going to multiply the message matrix on the left by some key that you create, a two by two that has an inverse. Got to make sure it has an inverse. And then you send that encrypted matrix to your friend, to your recipient. They are going to take their key and find the inverse of it. They're going to find K inverse and they're going to multiply the encrypted matrix on the left side and that's going to return them the message. They put it into letters and they know the secret rendezvous spot. So that's with the two by two. You can encrypt with a three by three, a four by four as whatever size of a matrix that you want. That's how you do matrix encryption.